Well, 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 we're back all once again. It's a beautiful start to the week. We have this first pattern right here, breaks the upside. We have a nice run up, another couple hundred bucks. Then we have, then we create another uh, another trend line right here, breaks down to the upside, have another run. Then we break this guy right over here, has another, you know, has another uh, $100, $200 run. And then we broke this guy right over here to the upside. And uh, I would be looking at a next run towards this, uh, towards this 4250 if we do officially take out the top side of this blue box territory. But right now, you know, I do consider this basically, you know, basically kind of doing the same thing as Bitcoin, less, less aggressively. So it is less strong relative it relatively speaking it is weaker especially compared to mrs Litecoin But we do see this this major resistance trend line right over here And we see the same sort of walking behavior where before we had this trend line right here break above it Now we're using it as support rallying off that so now we create another another resistance trend line And imagine that if we do break this guy to the upside very 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 likely to see a quick move towards this uh, 155 ish area my charts have turned black. Yes Once you go black you never go back and once you go bear you never go bear back This is Litecoin. looks like she wants to grind this high once again, so We've gotten the moves on Litecoin pretty damn well. This is a great example of why I have that rule on. I don't get bearish on anything that has a golden cross and is above the 21 exponential, which is what you see right here. The yellow being the 21 exponential, the golden cross referring to the green 50 exponential and the purple 200 exponential moving average right here. And as long as we're above us, I mean, even the red 10 simple, then I can't really be bearish on this. You can, sh I can show you all the bearish things in the world. We could say that we have bearish divergence on the daily RSI. You can see that you could say that daily stokes are, they're not even down right now. They're actually up. Um, you could say that we are in an ascending brawny wedge, which we are. We are seeing the jewel kind of line up, which will line up for a sell signal in the, in the next few days. If he fails to break, 63 and a half but <laughs> until you break the 21 i do not short anything that looks like this holy fucking moly get wrecked sweden holy shit man that's pretty nasty look at dildo coin oh you bastard and now it's revealed i just it's just been one whole major april fools on me till the, today Jesus Christ, man. Oh, well. Look at this blue moving average right here. That is a 377 exponential. Bitcoin has actually nailed it just about perf uh, perfectly on BitMexico, getting all the way up to about 5150. And we're, you know, it's, it's, it's hovering a few bucks higher, but close enough is close enough, especially on a time frame like this. That to me is a pretty damn staunch reaction. A major move like this hitting a major exponential and then backing off this much, Bitcoin will likely come back down and test the 200 simple and 200 exponential. The question is, do we close above or, or below it by end of day? If we close above it, that implies a more bullish narrative. That would imply a more a more positive consolidation above this area and likely try again higher if we close below it then that puts in then then that's when we start talking about all the bearish shit again but for right now bitcoin living above it actually a couple hundred bucks above it almost so that is pretty damn good you can't trust anything zuhar says anymore man he's a he's been revealed to be a troll <laughs> He got me good yesterday too, man. The lower time frames are switching around, no doubt about that. So we do have Whoa, hey, what the Did we just drop 100 bucks? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's that that's the move that I'm looking for. Oh my god, that red dildo is coming right down and round. Let's see if we can get all the way down to 46 and see this level. There it is. So again, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm looking for that pullback into the 200 simple 200 exponential. It looks like we're going to get that right now. Come on, baby, show me the power. I want to see how big and thick you can get, man. Uh, Mrs. Litecoin, yeah. So again, Mrs. Litecoin is doing what we spoke about yesterday, where essentially we have the golden cross right here, 50 exponential cross on the upside of the 200 exponential, had all the bearish things in the world other than that, but this is why my rule is my rule. <laughs> this is why my rule is my rule. That's not redone enough. If we have a golden cross and you're above the 21, I ain't fucking short. I, ain't, I don't short anything that looks like that. It's just not, <laughs> just not something that I'm interested in doing. Motherfucker. <laughs> What a fucking disaster, man. The David Hunter NYC says, I'm an average Joe. I don't understand your analysis, but I watch every day still because of you. I made 22,000 last night on Bitcoin. Thanks. Fucking yeah, man. Hey, there you go. Bitcoin popping back up. Looks like he wants to give another test to this uh, blue 377 exponential moving average right over here. And essentially, this is our range from the higher time frame perspective. The 377 uh, resistance and, uh, and 200 simple and 200 exponential as support down around 4,600. So we're getting obviously closer to the resistance right now. The 50 exponential coming in right around this range, which actually did get tested on BitMexico, not quite there on Bitstamp. And of course, the monthly resistance of the, uh, you know, of the 21 exponential moving average right over here uh, at 5,200 about even. So so everything's kind of coming around this range between about 5150 and 5200, which tells me to be cautious as we do see the lower time frame signal a little bit of, you know, a little bit of exhaustion. Let's go check out traditional marks really quick. 287, baby, baby, baby. Oh, man. Traditional marks going absolutely crazy right now. I am not bearish on anything that has a golden cross on the daily and, and is living above the 21 exponential. And th this one's living above all major moving averages, more importantly. So we see this right over here. That's your that's your golden cross, the, the green 55 and the purple 200. We're above all major moving averages, the yellow being the 21. And just... 
there you, I mean, there you go. There's nothing really else to say about it. Let's go check out Mrs. Litecoin. How's she doing? How's this beautiful and powerful lady going? Oh my God, Mrs. Litecoin, you powerful, beautiful bitch, you. You just marching your way up. And I think that you, have you, have you hit my $90 target? Cardano gave you just a second to buy this right over here. The thing is though, is that overall, I'd be bullish on Cardano just because you got the golden cross here above all major movement averages right over here. Think about shit coins. Let's do it. Nano BTC on Binance. What are we doing, Mr. Nano? Ne Nicholas Merton's not going to be happy about this one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Nick! <laughs> the fuck, man? You told me Nano was good. <laughs> it's been going down for a year straight. What the fuck? The caretaker says, hey guys, hit the like, smash those thumbs, and tick the little bell. Tickle the little bell, actually. You don't have to smash them. You just have to give them a little love tappy tap. It's good. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Crown, can you please take a look at D's nuts? D's nuts? That sounds like a very interesting chart, Puglicious. Sip of this water, man. I'm damn thirsty. 377 exponential providing the resistance, providing the impetus for resistance. And so far, that is our local top. I do believe that we are kind of sitting up for another rally. Um... I should kind of retest in this area. I think it's best seen on the lower time frames. Four hour right over here. It's sure a lot of people are trying to say that this is flagging out right now. And, uh, and it is trying to consolidate right at this major resistance. But ultimately speaking, I do see a lot of signals that suggest that uh, we probably, you know, I, I don't really see new highs before coming back down and in uh, testing that 46 to 47 ish level. Uh, we did get into, we did get a $500 sell off or $550 sell off in the early morning hours from uh, 5350 to 4800. But I don't believe that that counts. I really want to see a formal test of the 200 simple and 200 exponential on the daily is he doing mr buterol actually uh hitting a major exponential as well yesterday coming off of a major rejection off the 200 exponential i would be looking for this darth mall dildo as well to probably have some follow through the area of contention for mr buterol is right here however you know as long as 147 and a half is defended i would give the nod to the bulls just like as long as 4600 is defended on bitcoin i'd give the nod to the bulls as well mrs like got all the way up to almost 100 psychological uh area right over here yeah 99 and 89 cents on gdax coinbase Veronica, have you been a naughty girl? <laughs> For this one all day. Come on, baby. Come on, show me the power, you fuck. Be cautious as I take a sip of this water because I'm goddamn thirsty, man. Yeah, yeah, Neo actually looking pretty strong overall, but look at this, two stabs at this 200 exponential. The first one gets sold off extremely aggressively. I'd imagine that this one, if we go down to the lower time frames, we're gonna, we're probably gonna be, yeah, we're, we're showing kind of the same sort of sell interest around this area. When Bitcoin ripped through this, through, uh, through this area on the way up, it ripped through this area on the way down, and now we're gonna come back in and look at where we kind of found comfort, right in the middle where there's no volume profile being done. There's no business in this area, which tells me that what's likely to happen is we're probably going to fill out this area because you want to build up a nice, a nice strong structure to, you know, to rally off of long term. And, uh, and right now we're kind of missing a few floors in this, uh, in this building. He got to be a true degen to want to trade this bullshit. <laughs> and this is coming from someone who trades fucking Bitcoin. Jesus Christ. This music makes my grandma horny. What the fuck did I just hear? Moon Lambo Friday. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, you know, the differences between the low time frames, the medium time frames, the high and the macro time frames. This would kind of be the more intermediate time frames right over here, looking at the daily, just playing between the blue 377 and the purple 200 exponential. That is the range as far as that, you know, as far as that sort of trajectory looks like. And essentially, just a game of sport and resistance. Just buy sport, sell resistance until, well, until you get the break and then just, and then just go on the winning team. Mrs. Litecoin is very very powerful woman you know i i basically have the same disposition on mrs litecoin as i would on bitcoin i'm looking for a pullback but the big news for mrs litecoin is that overall more importantly overall i am bullish on mrs litecoin in a way that i can't say about bitcoin just yet uh the fact is is that is that mrs litecoin broke out out of all major movement averages put in a put in a golden cross right over here the green 55 the purple 200 and boosting up on, a, on increasing volume going all the way back from our november december lows which this is exactly what i want to see for a major mark cycle low mrs like and we've been saying that for a long time mrs Litecoin is the best argument for the for you know for the lows being in Ms., mrs Litecoin basically turned bullish right over here at around 45 and a half bucks um and then now we're just kind of seeing fall through on it uh the weekly is going to close ex likely extremely well uh bad really bad <laughs> Really bad, man. Really fucking bad. Um, I've been bearish on this one for a while, and I'd still be bearish on it. Che hey, Cheyenne! Cheyenne! Where the hell have you been, man? Uh, BW Nass says we love you, Crown. This is a top uh, crypto community for sure. Fuck yeah, man! It really is. We got we got a lot of like, we got a lot of people who come from all different walks of life in the Discord, and you just learn so much by being around them. Anyways, uh, take care and see you soon.